Okay, my friends, home of the shocker du jour, and I do not intend to let you down. This goes back 12 years ago, plasma in space. Now, I've shown this a number of times. The Russians made a black hole in space. I contacted them about this. It didn't go anywhere, but I know what's going on with this experiment, and nobody else does. They're totally lost what happened in space, and they say it. They say, we freaked out. One guy locked himself in his office for three weeks because he couldn't figure, he just lost. That was a Max Planck. <laughs> now, I will show you the experiments they did, and there was something anomalous that was happening where the electrons were flowing around like this, and I'm thinking, what is causing that? This took me years to figure that out, but I think I have it figured out. Now, let's look into it. Okay, my friends, this is going to be good. I, w I originally wor didn't work with the Russians. I contacted them about this because this pretty much proved my dipole electron flood theory. And I'll show you exactly what happened. I didn't really get any much of a response. but um, And I tried to contact all our space agencies, too. I'll show you. This is crazy. Dust particles suspended within plasma. Now listen to this now. I, again, this is the Russians, and this is going to be only these titles here. Here it goes. So he's talking about there's dust particles suspended in plasma. Well, what is plasma, and what's the dust particles? Let's what he, see what he has to say. They form a lattice. Now watch this. Right. You get an electric charge on experience repulsion from each other. So these little dust particles have extra electrons. Basically that's what it is. They are extra little glowy electrons. They're, they push each other apart. That's why electric charge and they experience repulsion. An extra electron, the white part, will push another one apart. So they're charged particles. Now here goes. They're dust particles. All right, so it says, because of the repulsion, the space is limited and a crystal lattice structure is formed. That's what he's saying. Let's see, then they show it. All right, now, watch them bouncing like this. So every time they bounce down, they push back. It's sort of making a, a hum. And because of that repulsion, the space is limited, and a crystal-like lattice structure is formed. Now, I'm going to turn this thing down to 25% so that we can really see it better. All right, now, get ready, here it goes. Now, here, watch these big ones. You see these here? And they line up sort of in a pretty good row, and the other ones bounce against them, and they make, like, a blocks. You push me, I push you, you stay away, stay two inches away from me, I'll stay two inches away from you, and everybody's good. Well, it didn't work out to be what they thought it was going to be. Now watch. So they make a crystal-like lattice. See them bouncing? Boom, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang. They're like bouncing against each other. And then all of a sudden, that one jumped over here. They got some strange things going on. I will run it very slow. Now, he's going to say something, whatever it's going to be. I don't know. All right, so what, all right, let me just go back to regular speed. When we got to see something good, we got to see it good. It's going to take an extra second. Okay. So he has this black bucket. Here it goes. All right. In orbit, the experiment is similar to the one on Earth, only it's in less, not, not zero gravity. You still have gravity. That's why I'll show you why I can say, make that statement. There's no question you can still see the gravity. Now watch. So it's similar to the one on Earth, except you're in space. Except the vacuum chamber has real space vacuum in it. Now, there is no vacuum in space. Space is saturated with particles and light, and that's the other thing they're not taking into account in this experiment, is light. There is no vacuum in that chamber. They think that chamber is empty. It's not empty. It's saturated with light particles that they didn't take into account. And when I show you all the patterns that they made, 
it's, it literally proves dipole electron flood theory. It, 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 now I can make these statements. This was 10 years ago, 12 years ago, this video is. And I, and I was there right from the beginning, under, you know, on the edges of understanding it. Now I fully understand it. And as we go through this video, I will show you why every one of these particles does what it does. Okay, my friends, if you even got the tiniest bit of geek in you, you are going to want to watch this. This goes back 12 years ago with the, uh, an experiment that was done in space with plasma and, and charged particles. And this is what they observed and they freaked out. And they still, I believe, do not understand. Well, I know they don't understand what they did. I believe they created actually a black hole, dark matter right there. All of these particles came in all bundled up and then they boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And well, as a matter of fact, I think I can play it. You see it bouncing, bounce, 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 bounce. Well, it crushed those particles into the center because they're the dark particles. They will go along and touch each other. They don't care. The white particles push each other apart, but they want to be attracted to the dark. So they end up bouncing and pushing all the ones in the center into a ball, which on Earth we would call, looking out in space, we call it a, a black hole. Now you see how it's like oval, it's not round, like a round. That's because there's gravity. Even though they're in space, in a vacuum chamber, it doesn't matter. You still have gravity, they're being pulled to the Earth as all of these particles are as well. That's why it's a little bit flat. On Earth, it would just be a flat line. The particles would not have any, any darkness in the center of them. This is literally a black hole, in my opinion. I'm going to show you why. I believe this supports everything I've been saying about dipole electron flood theory. These are dipoles. No question whatsoever, you got some kind of a bounce of these particles versus the dark particles. And we can see them in our experiments, as I have shown, and I will show you right now. And we have split them. Now, in space, it looks to me like there's a lot of extra dark particles, and they'll go to the center surrounded by the white particles. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, this was the experiments they did in space, and I knew exactly what, what was going on based on my dipole electron flood theory. Now, watch what happens. He says, during the experiment, we contacted the Earth guys. They couldn't believe it. They put charged particles in this vacuum chamber. Now, watch what happens. They all went in like that, and then all of a sudden, they did this. Boom, 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 and created <laughs> this black hole. And that's a black hole. 